Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your DABEX and scientific inhalations dab of the day with a G Pen battery backup because I found out that DABEX makes the batteries for G Pen. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please join the Senior Stoner family, subscribe, hit that button, send a like our way, and I respond to all comments. Unfortunately, my pain has gotten worse. It's in other places. And you know what? There are things about chronic pain that we don't know. And we didn't know we knew. So chronic pain isn't just constant pain, right? That would be more than enough for anybody to handle. Chronic pain brings friends. These added challenges are obvious to those who live it but rarely taken into consideration by healthy people. Remembering that like all bullies, chronic pain travels with a gang can help to better understand the life of someone in chronic pain. Pain is exhausting. We all have had bad headaches, a twisted knee or a pulled muscle, but by the end of the day, it's a monumental effort just to read the mail. You may not have consciously realized it, but the pain that is relentlessly nagging you through all the day has drained you as bad as any flu will. Even when you try to ignore pain, it's there in the back of your mind, screaming for attention, draining away all of your time and energy. With chronic pain, it's amplified, unfortunately, because it isn't just one day, it's months, years, or a lifetime struggling to live with the monkey of pain on your back. I get tired just thinking about it. Pain causes poor sleep. You'd rather think that after a long day of fighting with constant pain, sleep would be a reprieve. It would be, wow, I'm going to sleep. It's not. That's a dream. No pun intended. Chronic pain can make it hard to get to sleep and hard to stay asleep. 40 years. The pain will pull you right out of a deep sleep every night. Many pain patients take medications to sleep because sleep is vital for the health. Chronic pain or not, I'm going to consider it actually a sleeping aid. And even when you do sleep, the pain signals continue to your brain and cause sleep to be broken. How about every three hours? Two and a half, three. That's my schedule at night. Pain makes you cranky, do you think? Chronic pain sufferers are not all cranky by nature, but pain drains you physically and mentally. When you're in pain, even the simplest tasks are overwhelming and people tend to react accordingly, unfortunately. You may have only asked your chronic pain spouse if they would like to go to a movie, but in their head, they've considered if they can sit that long, how much medication it's going to require, if they have the energy, and how can they get to the bathroom quick enough. You see, it depends how high the pain is now and how it might increase. You have to think not just an hour from now, but you've got to think throughout whatever you're going to do. Can you take it? So, people in chronic pain don't grouch at you just for the hell of it. Pain just makes it very hard to remember that everybody else is coming from a totally different place, perspective. Well, we're a movie. It's just a movie. You see, pain also messes up and kills your concentration. Most chronic pain patients fight like crazy to live normal lives. I can say I do. They try to ignore the pain and go about their day. Someone asks me how I am, you know what I say? How are you doing? But it's not that easy, unfortunately. Even when we ignore the pain, push it to the back of our brain and focus on, I don't know, TV, work, pain doesn't give up. You can sit at your desk, at your computer, in a car, try to concentrate. 
but with pain, playing the part of a crying toddler needing your attention. It's going to poke you. It's going to tug at your clothes, spill juice on your keyboard, scream your name, and try to use your arm and leg as practice for the uneven bars. No matter how hard we try to tune it out, part of our brain is always processing the pain and it often pulls your concentration to terrifying low levels. Pain saps away at your self-esteem. Pain made you tired, made you cranky, killed your concentration. Being exhausted all the time makes everything more of a challenge than it should be. A quick temper, maybe once you could have strained and, and had the ability to do things, but your inability to concentrate maybe even hurts your job performance. You can't do what you want to do with your time, even though you try to. And it seems like everyone's mad at you or unhappy with you no matter what you try to do. Life as we knew it crumbled because of us, me. Most pain sufferers blame themselves for these failings, remembering that they used to be able to do everything from a mile a day for 26 years. And then boom, many people see chronic pain as a sign of weakness or a personal defect that they should be able to overcome. Unfortunately, the end result is that on top of everything else chronic pain does and brings, it also damages our self-esteem. And finally, I woke up to this and knew it. Eventually, it took me time. Pain causes isolation. When you're in constant chronic pain, the last thing you want to do is attend a company party, the neighbor's backyard barbecue, or even a gathering with your closest friends and family. Even to go to my sons or daughters, Mrs. Stoner has to look at me with deep eyes and ask me, can I do it? Well, your friends and family are the light of our lives. But the physical and mental energy it requires to go out and be social might be too much to handle. You start to bow out of parties, cancel plans, not because you don't want to go, but because you can't. Well, eventually people stop inviting you. Calls to make plans decline. And the scary thing is you don't notice it and might not even mind. Slowly, but surely, your chronic pain has isolated you. You didn't do it to yourself. The pain did it. The manifestation of that is no one wants to be around you because no one knows when the pain's going to manifest itself in front of them. Those who have already experienced it certainly don't want to do it again. Unfortunately, you become someone that no one wants to be around. Chronic pain. Boy, if we knew it was this bad, we wouldn't have signed up for it, would we? Let's take our dab, everybody. From a heavily loaded, I might add, DABEX and scientific inhalations. <coughs> heavily loaded. Thanks for joining me today. Hit that subscribe button. And learn. Educate yourself on what it's like to live with chronic pain. So if you're around someone with chronic pain, you understand. And to those of us who have the chronic pain, I truly feel, I understand. Have a great one, everybody. Cheers.